All right, everyone, welcome back. We're going to be going over some more examples. So again, looking for the same patterns. We're going to be looking for a strong high and a strong low. For those that are wondering, why are you choosing those two patterns? The reason I'm choosing those two patterns, like I mentioned on the previous video, is because it's easier for you to see and understand. And also because this is the two patterns that we're going to be using in the future anyways. So it's good to kind of just kind of slowly introduce it to you guys already, right? I'm not explaining how they work or nothing. I'm just using them as the example to explain the fractal nature, okay? So we're looking for these two patterns here. What do we see here? We see a run liquidity, and then we have a break of structure, right? That's what we see on the 15 minute time frame. What else do we see over here? Let's see. So we have a this leg, took out this liquidity, and say a broad structure here, right? Again, notice they look different in size, but it's the same pattern, right? Let's zoom in a bit. Run liquidity. And then we have a break of structure, for example, right? So we have one, two, three, three patterns, right? In the same time frame, in the 15 minute time frame, in different sizes and shapes. Okay, so now let's look for some strong lows. Here's one, for example. All right, so the crazy pressure should be a strong low. Then a strong low, notice, notice. All right. They're so close to each other. It's like if they're almost connected, but yet they're two different patterns. See that? It's just the beauty of the market being fractal. All right. So this is what we've pretty much found on the 15 minute time frame. Let's see if I'm missing anything else. So I see another one. Oh, I do see another one right here. There it is. So we have another strong line. Break structure, we we'll use this. All right. So in that 15 minute time frame, this is what we saw. Now imagine if you drop down to the five below one minute. All right. Things are going to look a little bit different. This is how they look on the five minute. A little bit bigger. Maybe it makes more sense to you now. It's clearer, right? Easier on the eye. But to some, maybe it looks messier. It's a mess. You'd rather have the higher time frame, which it was the 15 minute, than the five minute because you don't like too much, let's say, noise, for example. You don't want too much. It's too much for you, right? For some people. Everyone is different. Everyone has their own way of seeing the market and feeling comfortable in a way of seeing the market, right? Everyone's different. Every trader is different. So this is how it looks on the, on the five minute. And let's see if we can find any patterns in the five minute here. Ah, yes, we can. Here's one. Here's another one right here. All right, that was inside of the bigger one. All right, let's start marking up some strong lows. There's a strong low right here. There we go. Let's see. Just trying to find the obvious ones. Strong low right here. All right, take out quid C. Just choosing the most recent low right there. Structure point. All 
Oh, I see a strong high here too. Right there. Link. Let's see right here. Strong low. I'll break here. Let's see, strong high. Take out liquidity, okay. Structure. Right there. Let's see over here. Okay. Here's another pattern with then a D pattern. Right. So are you starting to see? Are you starting to see that there's a pattern within the pattern? And you know, for those that want to see a different there's structure within structure. Margaret's rectal. And these patterns appear on every time frame in every way, shape, or form. Right? No wonder it's very difficult to stick to one time frame or two time frames. That's why we have to use multiple time frames. Right? Because you have to take what makes sense to you. Right? It's an algorithm that runs the market. Something is consistent, something repeats. And as you can see, these patterns repeat over and over and over again. But there's there's not only just one algorithm. There is more than one algo in the markets. There's not just one algorithm. There's more than one, right? So that's why, you know, we're never going to be 100% correct. Or we can only use one time frame and expect to catch every move on only one time frame. We have to use multiple time frames. We have to see what looks better for us. Every single person is going to have their own view at the end of the day, right? So for example, you may not like this. Maybe you're like, well, I don't like it because of that wick. I don't like it because of that. I don't like it because of this, right? Every person has their own view, excuse of why they would or would not take a trade. Because everyone's different. So... By now, I believe you guys have a clear understanding and view of what I mean by the fractal nature of the market and the structure standpoint, All right? It's as simple as this. It repeats over and over again. So go to the charts, right? And practice identifying these patterns. Practice identifying the patterns, seeing it happen over and over, you know, a pattern within a pattern to just get used to it, to just adapt switching time frames. Because switching time frames itself is a skill set in itself. Not everybody can switch time frames. Not everyone can trade the one minute. Why do you think a lot of people struggle in the one minute or the two minute or the five minute? Because not everyone can do that. It's a skill in itself, right? So that's why the fractal nature of the market is the first chapter of this course, because you need to start practicing this now before you advance to more, uh, let's say, advanced topics, right? So you got to get used to it. Get used to switching time frames. Get used to seeing it in different ways. Now, don't overwhelm yourself. Like I mentioned, trade what you see and everything, all right? Right now, we're just practicing. We're barely getting started. This is just the intro to everything, but we need to get the momentum going, all right? So that's it for now, guys. On to the next one.